So this isn't necessarily a full cycle video, but it is going to be one where I play one of every map. The only real difference is that most of these maps are not going to be selected at random. They're all going to be manually chosen, so... Here we go with the first map. Failure! This display picture shows a car, which does absolutely no help on an outpost game because an outpost requires you to be stealthy. Gameplay modifiers, infinite ammo, highlight NPC. Let's get going. Nut hug, pop grapes, bare bones. I like bare bones. Let's go with bare bones. Outpost. Bare bones sounds like a good idea. Why would I want to use a car when I have to be stealthy? Oh. That's why. Because you're gonna make people drive across the map for no reason. Fantastic start to a map when already there has to be a fast motion used in the video this early on. I just want to point out that that's an amazing road that I drove down the car with. Excellent road that's been set up. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Real awesome. Oh, and it's gonna get better. All the enemies are so grouped together that you can't really take out your, your targets at all. So it looks like the only way I can do this without get the, getting the alarm turned on will be to destroy the alarms first. Because if I go for the NPCs right now, I'm fucked. Even if I did have a silent weapon, they would still see everything. So we're going for the alarms first. This looks like it's the only alarm on the entirety of the map. What do you know? It was the only alarm on the entire map. Okay. Alright. Alright, let's see if we can get a hold of a weapon. That's the next step. I just noticed that there's a window there. Oh. I thought that window was cosmetic. I seriously thought that window was just cosmetic. But, oh. I guess it kind of is because you can't really get in there. How come those are actual windows and this is... Oh, I mean, like these, this is made of wood. You can't break this. It's just made of wood. How come these are actual windows? How are you supposed to get inside this building, then? Oh, you gotta go through the wi Oh, I see the window, the top window. I might actually need to go back and get the vehicles after all, just so that I can park it here and get through the windows. It all depends on whether or not this back area here is open. Oh, we're gonna have to wait and let him come here. Wait and let this guy show up. Come on. Come on. Come on. An opening has finally presented itself, and now I have a gun. I don't even care if they see the bodies at this point. <laughs> oh, there's my way in. It's the window. This window. Let me in. Oh, really? You're gonna make me bash it open? Well, I need to go and bash this other window over here as a distraction. They're going to check it out right now. Here, bash this window open. There. They've been alerted. They're gonna go check out that window. Which gives me time to actually get in this building. And take them out. It does not matter if they see me at this point. probably trying to head for that alarm. Oh, they threw a grenade. Give me the shotgun. Come on, you dropped the shotgun. Oh, I can't see anything. There, there he is. Um, hold on. I gotta get rid of this guy, too. Ah, damn it. I didn't get to them in time, so I can't use this as a camping spot anymore, but what I can use is an incinerary shotgun. They're all going to burn! Kill! 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 Amazing! I like you more now.
Burn them all! Burn them all! Flatland, one alarm, a random traveling distance that's there for no reason. Makes you use a car that doesn't have a properly set up pathway for you to drive on. Yep, I think we've seen enough of this map. This next map is called Joseph Attack. Or is that Joseph Attack? Joseph. Jo just hip. Just hip there. Yep, that's what it's called. This display picture has palm trees in the background, a building, a fire, and a person that's watching the fire, and a lot of sand everywhere. Gameplay modifiers, infinite ammo, targets visible, unlimited underwater breathing. Let's infinite right to the Joe's have. Eversion Zio. Professional. Hard. Vazio. That's empty in another language. Well, I think I'm gonna like uh, Vazio. Vazio. I'm probably butchering that name as well, but again, I only have one tongue. I can only speak English. I don't know any other languages. And I don't really have an accent. I will have an accent if I go to another country that's not anywhere in North America, though. It'll definitely be an accent elsewhere, but uh, as far as an accent... Oh my god, you're Jacob. I don't have any weapons to kill you. I do not have a means to... I could, I could punch him to death, but not while he has his little friends nearby. So this, these people are just here. They're just watching. They're looking around. They're looking around. They're just looking around. And... They're down. Still don't have a means to take out Joseph right now. Or not Joseph, Jacob. I don't have a means to get rid of Jacob. I got bullets, but... <gasps> oh, right, I forgot infinite ammo's on. I have a means to get rid of Jacob! Let's go, Jacob! Hey, hey, hey! Hey! Did you really sacrifice yourself in hopes that you'd be able to give enough time for Jacob to get standing up? Of course you did. That's what you always do. Okay, let's check and see if there's anything inside this building. I have a feeling that all the buildings are going to be empty. Aside from whatever is there in a preset zone. Yeah, this this is preset. There's nothing really additional here. Okay, we're going to the next target. Next target, which is all the way in that distance. The last map gave you a car with no road. This map doesn't even give you a car. And he makes you walk down the long road. <laughs> oh, fucking mercy. Okay, we've arrived at the second target. I'm assuming that all the targets are going to be seeds. It's one of the vanilla generic things. Vanilla generic maps. He was not alone. John was not alone. It doesn't matter. Because I've got my target and now I'm leaving. These long travels actually does make it difficult to just pick up the target and then leave. And that's honestly a good thing. Cause, oh, what the hell? This one's across the water. This one requires me to actually swim across the water. So anyway, as I was saying, it's actually a good thing the way it's set up. And in a small way, I have to give a little bit of praise because it makes it hard to just shoot a target and then leave because the enemies are going to be behind you shooting. I still managed to escape, but yeah, it puts players on edge. But keeping them on edge makes it good. Makes the map feel like it's worth it has more quality. So already this map is better than the last map despite not giving you a proper vehicle and a road to drive on, you know. They give you a road but no They give you a road, but they don't give you a car to drive. There, that's all three targets down. All three targets have been eliminated. Get rid of that person, just get him out of the way. Oh, there's an enemy on my left somewhere. I don't have healing. This is bad. I don't have healing. This is bad for me, I mean. Bad for me. Just run. I just fired in the distance for no reason. I don't have med kits. Just go. Just go. Almost there. Swimming across the pier. Let's go in the water. I'm almost home. I just have to get to the pier and wait for my invisible boat. Oh wait, I have my own boat it seems. My own boat! 
How come I can't climb up on my own boat? I can climb up on the pier, but not my own boat. Alright, well, fine. And, oh, oh, what the hell? Okay, for some reason that finish line is in mid-air. So the ultimate goal is to survive. Self-explanatory. I will survive in this jungle. This pine forest jungle. Like style. And I will get out and I will tell the world of my great accomplishment. And that is the accomplishment that I won with monkeys! Journey. I will survive in this world winning with monkeys. And this is a really flat land. There's a big forest in the background. I have this strange feeling that something's going to happen at some point. Something is going to come unexpectedly. 200, 300 M's that I have to travel. There's this random computer glitch there that was found, and it's actually part of the game. It's one of them uh, visual effects that a creator can place down. It's not a bug or anything. Oh, an animal has found me in the woods. I hear animals. Oh, I hear, I see a bunch of yetis. Oh, this is a, one of them yeti map runs. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, I don't mind. I'll just get through, you know, the yetis are no threat to me, you know. I don't mind, I'll get through the yetis. Oh shoot, it's in the flat land. Okay, it all comes down to whether or not the yetis actually got caught in the trees because they don't like turning around objects. What are those on the ground that are running around? I can't tell, I think those are wolverines, but it, it's too small for me to see. The map was incredibly boring. Very boring, and it was very much leaning on a map that lets you run straight to the end for an instant victory. But it's going to be spared, because if the, the players that don't jump trick, those are mostly the beginners and intermediates, because they don't know that jumping makes you move faster in this game, they're going to have a tough time with that map. Especially when they learn what happens when you try to shoot a Yeti. Maybe I'll have to go back and look at some of those weapons again. Is a map's like dislike really gonna come down to the weapon set that's been given? Oh no, most of these weapons don't kill in one hit, so you actually get to learn how to. Oh no, that one has a remote bomb. What about the monkeys again? Does it have a remote bomb too? And yes, it does. How embarrassing that the like dislike came down to the, the loadouts in the weapon set. You know, this doesn't really teach players much of anything. It might teach them eventually how to use a remote bomb. But by now it should be common knowledge since online is considered post-game. Then again, the Yetis are post-game. But again, it's still a flat map that lets you go straight to the end, so no thanks. Is there any map out there that we can find that's actually going to be good or decent quality? We, we had two bad strikes now. Two bad ones. Gameplay modifiers, infinite ammo, highlight NPC. Please let this be a good decent map. I think the gunfighting's already started, and I haven't even begun playing the game yet. Interesting. Uh, unchanged loadout names, and they did change the loadouts entirely, though they got rid of the grapple hook for this one. I feel like going with nothing just to see if this winnable without a grapple, but... At the same time, it comes with a one-hit kill sniper rifle. A one-hit kill rifle, man. That one's kind of one-hit kill, but it's loud and noisy. This one comes with oh, they all have silencers. Oh, the worst loadout choice is... Oh, this one's all loud, but it aims very accurately. Um, you know what? I'll roll dice for all four of them. The randomizer will tell me what my weapon is, and it has given me assault. assault. I am using assault on this warlike game. There are dogs here. They're just here. This is my base. This is where we start the game at. It's war, guys. We have to go to war. And it appears that raiders have taken over the town. Okay, I'm liking this theme so far. Raiders have taken over the town. And now it is up for us to, to go there and take them out. And oh, no, no, no! Had everything except the gameplay. Victory. Yeah, this information is just being placed in the video in case anyone wonders what the hell just happened. But it translates to the helicopter being way too strong for the map. It needs to go. It's not a dislike though. It has a theme and it has a battlefield. It actually looks really good. 
It looks awesome. The only thing it, it, it's really missing now is the gameplay itself. As soon as they delete the helicopter, this could become a really good map. But until then, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye!